New at 10 this evening, a local lawmaker wants to take a little girl's fight nationwide. Kyla Davenport's case has prompted state legislation that requires harsh penalties for abusers. Eyewitness News reporter Tori Wells found out tonight that one congressman is considering some federal legislation in Kyla's name, Tori. We spoke with Congressman Robert Pittenger at his office this afternoon. He says just today he spoke with prosecutors in Union and Iredell counties to get their input on this possible legislation. And he says he and his staff have already spoken with law enforcement here in Mecklenburg County. I just wanted North Carolina laws to change. Kirby Davenport and her family set out to increase penalties for child abuse after her daughter Kyla was hurt last May. This law will save lives. We were with the Davenports in Raleigh when lawmakers introduced legislation in Kyla's name that would do just that. And now there are efforts to take those penalties to a federal level with legislation that would be named Kyla's Act. Uh, so we'd like to see some federal leg uh, legislation that parallels what was done here in the state. Congressman Robert Pittenger is leading that effort after he met Kyla and her family at a Union County parade. Uh, they are born tremendous grief, uh, yet they're, they're seeking to be proactive, and so this doesn't happen to other families. If I can at least affect one person. While this is all still in the works, his office hopes the legislation would tweak current federal law and set a minimum penalty for abuse, encouraging states to adopt it. Kirby says she wishes her daughter never had to be the face of new legislation, but hopes at least Kyle's story can save others. But I told her, I said, you just keep fighting your way back. I said, and then one day you can tell them. You can tell everybody what you've been through. And again, this is still in the research process, but Congressman Pittenger says he and staff will work on this through the spring. He hopes to have some kind of legislation drafted this year. As for Kyla's law here in the state, that is currently in committee. We are live in South Park. Tori Wells, Eyewitness News on TV 64.